Hey, hey, it's Rosalind. I'm back. <laughs> well, I took a few liberties after the last uh, part. Um, I went ahead and strung up some of the chain onto one of the jump rings. Um, and right now, I have it as short pink, then a gold, then a long pink, and I'm going to put the other piece of gold onto the jump ring with my pliers. There we go. Sometimes I just use my fingers just to string them on. Um, sometimes it's just easier for me. My hands aren't that big. so. And this is what the chain looks like right now on the jump ring. So we'll see if that's too much. I mean, I do like the shape of the chain. Has that little diagonal thing going. There we go. Get a better look at that. But we'll see. If it's too much with the piece, then I won't use it. I'll figure something else out. Or I'll just make these as a separate pair of earrings. Uh, like I said, that's the beauty of it. You can change things around. And I'm going to string up the other jump ring the same way pink gold pink actually I'm going to use my fingers because it's just easier let's see come on pink gold here's the other pink and here's the other gold String. come on get on there there we go and same thing. Ta-da. And now here's the test. I'm going to see if this is too much. So what I'm going to do, I am going to close this jump ring. I'm going to close the top and you just kind of give it a little twist to close it. And then what I'm going to do oops, is put it onto the ear wire. And I've already opened the bottom of the ear wire a little bit. Right there where that hook part is. I've already opened it up a little bit. So that way I can slip the chain onto the ear wire. Come on, get it going. Slip over. Okay, so what I have to do, and this happens sometimes, I have to kind of open it up a little bit more. Not too much, because you don't want it to be completely open. Because then you run the risk of completely bending out the ear wire. And then hook it on. 